Hello everyone, this is Gavin, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Boulder's Gate Trilogy. In this episode, you watch me fight Draconis, and uh, do a little bit of this uh, Bosigal's Lair area. I should title this episode, Don't Underestimate Fire Shields. You'll see what I mean later. I'll see to it. Who dare? I was actually unsure of how this uh, dragon fight was going to go because he does have those, the two, um, the two forms, the human form as a mage, and then he tr transforms into a dragon. So I couldn't really use my normal dragon fighting, uh, I guess, mo because I can't one-shot the dragon within uh, time stop and improved alacrity before the fight even starts. But as you can see, I just beat the hell out of the mage, just like any other mage in the entire game. And then I went to my normal dragon fighting MO. It wasn't as nice and smooth as I wanted, as I wanted it to be, but um, I felt like it went okay. This character is so strong, so much stronger than um, any of the other enemies. This is without a bit, without a doubt my most powerful character. Uh, not my most fun character. I I still prefer Fighter Thief multi-class for that. Um, but he is extremely powerful. So here the mistake I made was not casting that Greater Malice in before all my spell triggers, spell sequencers, all that stuff. So I'm not sure if all my skull traps and chromatic orbs from my spell sequencers and triggers actually did their full damage. Uh, because the saving throws weren't lowered yet. There I saw him heal, so I was like, ah, what the hell, if you're going to cheat, I'll cheat too. Because if you've been paying attention at all this playthrough, you've realized that planeters are completely overpowered. You see that? At the end of the fight, she instantly healed herself back to full health. It's so broken. Their AI is really good. They see through invisibility. Uh, they do an insane amount of damage. They have a Vorpal Sword, so they have a chance to one-shot things. It's just crazy how much better they are than Divas. I have no idea why they're so much more powerful. So here's pretty simple. I'm just um, re-upping my spell sequencers and triggers uh, just to make sure that I'm I'm constantly at my most ready. Sorry about that, someone's hitting me up on Steam. So I, um, I put that Greater Malice in inside my spell sequencer, my uh, level 7 spell sequencer. Uh, so I decided I can free up that slot, because level 4 spells are honestly the, the best level. Uh, in terms of defensive stuff, like uh, improved invisibility is much better than people give it credit for. Um, 
you have stone skin, obviously, the um, invulnerabilities. I believe the fire shields are level 4. Uh, they could be level 5, but I think they're level 4. Um, but anyway, every spell slot in the level 5 slot is valuable, even when you're at this high of a level. I had no idea the Staff of the Ram did that much more damage than the Staff of the Magi. I was watching those rolls just there, and I quite literally was getting 32 damage about on a regular hit, and like 70 on a crit. It was insane. Like, that's so high. I always thought on a Kensai, 50 damage per hit was like god tier status. Oh, if you hear squeaking in the background, that's my dog uh, playing with a chew toy. If you're wondering, her name's Bailey and she's a golden retriever. And holy crap, did you watch my uh, health go down right there? Uh, that's why this is Don't Underestimate uh, Fire Shield Blue. Because I was taking um, cold damage there, which Stone Skin does not protect against. And because I was attacking so frequently, my health was going down in an insane, uh, insanely short amount of time is what I'm trying to say. So that's the closest I've been to dying in this entire um, throwing a ball area. Aside from the parts in Watcher's Keep where I actually did die, um, but it's the it's the closest to death I've been in a while. Let's do this. Hold still. I've been seeing these people post about Iron Man challenges, and I don't think I have it in me to do an Iron Man challenge on, uh, on Baldur's Gate. I hope this is worth it. I've, I respect the hell out of people who can do those Iron Man challenges, and I, I wish I had the patience to do so, but just all that trial and error, and having to watch all the dream sequences in Baldur's Gate 2, um, and all the scripted events and all that stuff, I don't know if I could do it. Challenge runs or like optimal runs like what I'm doing now. I, I think those are interesting. I think low powered runs, but not ones where you have to, you know, beat the game without dying. I don't think that's my MO. But I do think underpowered runs would be kinda cool. Or to play as a class that people don't very often see. Let's do this quick and pain. Scream! Scream for mercy! Those water elementals, I'm so glad that you're able to hit them in melee in this game because I, I actually soloed um, Icewind Dale as a gnome fighter thief and um, they put those in the center of like tanks that you can't get to with, with melee and my character was a melee only um, character and I didn't have any ranged weapons even in my inventory. So um, thankfully I was able to cast um, set trap from outside their uh, their radius like I was able to set them like a fireball and have them explode on the guy I'm not sure why I was able to do that but I was
But I had forgotten about those guys, and that dude looked like a bad motherfucker, so I decided to regroup back here. You can see that dang fire shield, man. Every time I was hitting him, I was taking 16, like, you know, t between 12 and 16 damage. That's a lot of damage when you attack, like, I don't know how many times a round I attack. Probably, I think it's three without um, haste, and then with improved haste on, it's obviously six. Yeah. <laughs> Scream. Scream for mercy. Yeah. But anyway, this is a short episode. I apologize for that. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some more stuff done. I just have a weird work schedule now, um, so I haven't had much time to record. But I hope you enjoyed the commentary and, and the gameplay, and uh, I will catch you in the next one.